English jokes. No matter how curious I am, this is not how I will drink my coffee ever. Three, two, one, now. But this episode for sure will have something to do with mushroom. What is it? How does it taste? Is it healthy? as they claim that it is. Is it at least pleasant to drink? Welcome to Coffee That Gives a Pack episodes about mushroom coffee. Let's go. A little bit of background. Mihalina is vegan. That kind of vegan that wants to eat healthy and yummy food all day all night. She believes that the proper foods is the best way to get energy for her pretty active lifestyle. It clearly works very well. Mihalina, however, also hates to her gut grocery shopping, but she does get really excited if she is in some kind of whole foods, weird stuff that nobody buys store. I like to try different things like this or that or that. So a few days ago, again, I lost a little bit the track of space and time in one of those healthy food stores in Christchurch. And while I was wandering around to see what's new in the shelf and if it's worth any attention, I came across mushroom coffee. First, I was like, immediately no. What? Nah, what a weird combination. I'm, no. So I put it back on the shelf, left the store, went back home, ate something, slept the whole night, woke up and went back to the store and bought myself a package of mushroom coffee. I couldn't help myself. I had to try it. I've never heard anybody saying anything about this kind of coffee. Listen, even James Hoffman haven't tried it and he does try weird things in coffee. So like, I'll be the one who's gonna do it for you. I was crying though while I was buying it. It cost over $40 oh, no. for ground coffee. $40, $40, $40 for ground coffee. <laughs> What did I do? So what that actually is, is mushroom coffee is a combination of coffee and ground medicinal mushroom. They put it together in the ratio that apparently you are not going to tell that there are mushrooms in it, but apparently there is enough of those mushrooms in there for you to get some health benefits out of that drink. This particular brand for Sigmatic is based in Finland. Finns drink a lot of coffee per capita. No other country drink this much coffee as they do in Finland. I assume then that they know what they do when they make such a thing. We'll see about that. According to what I found on their website, for Sigmatic founders family, four years were a family of farmers for generation. They used to work with the land and they love the nature. They focus on, on the benefits that the plants and the land can bring them, including the health benefits coming from superfoods. So having this family spirit running through his blood system, I guess, and interest in Chinese medicine, Four Sigmatic's founder created a product that combined modern need of drinking the coffee all the time in Finland with some beneficial aspect of functional mushroom. In Chinese medicine, they are considered a huge support and health to the mind and body being so-called superfoods. So this type of food that you will get superpowers after you ate it. Like good old carrot wouldn't do the job. Now, why did I buy it? Like I mentioned before, the coffee is ground. I barely ever buy ground coffee. Even knowing just that, I should have said no to myself because whole beans are always better than ground coffee. But of course, I do realize that it would be very difficult to sell this coffee in form of whole beans. They can't put whole mushroom in it, so they have to grind them. And so they also have to grind that 
coffee but also this coffee doesn't have a roast date never buy coffee that doesn't have a roast date on the package coffees like this usually are not fresh anymore they taste like cupboard they are stale and in general not really nice such a hypocrite Michalina but well I am curious also I am a big fan of natural ways of staying healthy and fit. I love filling my body with nutrients and magic. I do believe that we are what we eat, but because I am aware that this kind of lifestyle, let's call it lifestyle, is becoming pretty trendy. Some brands use phrases like this thing naturally improves or supports your health and well-being. It's more for branding rather than being the actual research-based or fact-based claim that they take all responsibility for. So I think it's always worth double-checking where those products are coming from, what are the actual benefits and whether it is worth spending such a big money like $40. Could have had so many great coffees for that price. But I will try it for you. I will give you my opinion. I will also try to find the best method for brewing that coffee just in case you one day will come across it and you don't have to second question whether you want to spend that money or not. Yeah, remember, I'm doing that for you. It's for them, it's for them, it's for them. If I had this option, I would probably brew that coffee as an espresso. <laughs> Medium roast and the cades. This type of roast that would probably suit espresso style of brewing the most. At least this is how I like it. However, by the look at the grind size, it was definitely too coarse to use it in the espresso. For that reason, I decided to try it with V60, the pour over method. They also do have darker roast on offer. This is something I had in my hands. I wasn't brave enough to buy dark roast to see if it's gonna be any good. From my experience, if they say that the coffee is roasted to dark level, it's usually burned. So what are my conclusions after brewing this coffee with V60? It actually smells nicer than I was expecting. <laughs> you can get a little bit of that rubbery kind of smell with dark roast because this is definitely not the kind of medium roast that I would call medium roast. <laughs> it's definitely more like a dark roast. Even just by the color. Yeah, there is a lot of bitterness in it, but also I can taste a little bit of sweetness. There is something weird in that coffee. They say that you cannot taste any mushroom, but there is a little bit of an aftertaste that brings mushroom to mind, but it's very pleasant. It's sweet, or maybe that's just coffee. If I didn't know that there are mushrooms in it, I would never tell that. Would I pay $40 for this? If I was judging this just by coffee's attributes, no, it tastes like a little bit better quality that coffee from a supermarket roasted on a similar level but definitely the quality of it is not worth $40. Does it taste stale? Because it was pre-ground and who knows when exactly it was roasted. I would expect this coffee to taste very stale. This is not that bad. Here I'm surprised. Mmm. Is this the worst coffee I've ever had? Definitely not. I had way, way worse coffees in my life. Also, I wasn't expecting too much from this coffee, so with lower expectations, I am less disappointed. But yeah, definitely not as bad. Maybe if I add a little bit of milk, that would make it even better. I don't recommend adding milk to any of the pour-overs or filtered coffee of any kind because milk is too heavy for this kind of coffee but because it was so dark I'm pretty sure I would be still able to taste some of the coffee flavor <laughs> nah nah <laughs> nah most of the coffee taste is gone 
very, very average combination. It's a really good thing that they mention the origin of coffee here. They say this coffee particular is from Guatemala and it says that it was sustainably and fairly grown, which I like to believe is true. So it is very nice that they leave a little bit of traceability to the product for that kudos. Of course, we could go a little bit deeper into the physics of brewing this coffee. Mm, I assume that density of mushroom and density of that coffee is not quite exactly the same. So that would impact the flow of brewing the coffee, but we're not gonna do it. Mm, this coffee, if it was maybe slightly coarser, would work better with B60. Maybe it wouldn't be that bitter. However, it is too coarse for espresso, which I believe would be nicer. Hmm. What if I reground this coffee? I was expecting this coffee to brew way, way worse. It was actually not that bad as I thought it would be. <sighs> oh, smells really nice. Very citrusy. Hmm, floral. Nice, let's taste it. <sighs> well, it's definitely not as fresh <laughs> as I would like to. It's quite smooth. The bitterness is not that in your face anymore. It is still pretty bitter, but I guess with milk it would be pretty enjoyable. The body of coffee, considering that it was not the nicest flow ever, it's still nice and round, I'd say medium. There is a little bit of sweetness, there is also acidity, maybe not as high as I like, but you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. So it's okay. And okay, it's not worth $40. Okay, so now do I feel like I had way much more energy than before I had this coffee? Well, you know, I just took two sips. So I shouldn't be really <laughs> questioning whether this coffee would have positive or negative impact on my body right now. I also shouldn't be judging this aspect without any specific equipment that I could use to measure all my body and mind statistics. Or simply, I don't have the knowledge of people who are real researchers, who really know a lot about food or only just mushroom. Sometimes I do think that I have this knowledge, but I really don't. So for this aspect of mushroom coffee, I will partially do a little bit of the summary of researches and articles that I found and were related to functional mushroom. Also partially, I will be coming up with some conclusions based on my knowledge and experience with coffee that I've built over the years. I will present you with some thoughts on three main aspects that Four Sigmatic claims to be their let's call them selling points. The first one, mushroom coffee consists of less caffeine than the real coffee does. For that reason, you don't experience any of the side effects of drinking coffee with high amount of caffeine, such as jitters or crush or feeling dehydrated. Second aspect, mushroom coffee is less acidic. So it's easier and better to drink for people who have some stomach discomfort after they drank the coffee. And the third aspect, mushrooms in the mushroom coffee make you healthier. So in terms of the first one, logically thinking, there is less caffeine in that coffee because some part of it consists of mushroom. But would I drink it to avoid those jitters that they mention? Well, not really, because if you experience this kind of side effects after drinking one cup of coffee, 
you probably should consider quitting the coffee in general or maybe switching to decaf. Remember that for average person, the amount of coffee that cup of coffee consists of usually doesn't bring any harmful effects. So if you feel like one regular cup of coffee doesn't really serve you, then in my opinion, mushroom coffee might not be the best alternative for this because there is still some caffeine in it. By the way, regular cup of coffee in terms of caffeine means nothing. Go ahead and watch this episode where I talk about it a little bit more. They also say that if you drink this coffee, you're not going to experience any crash. My question is, what kind of crash? I'm only assuming that by crash they mean a significant decrease of your energy level as soon as the coffee will leave your blood system. If that's the case, then I say no, because never ever in my life I've experienced any kind of crash. So I really wish they were saying a little bit more about it. Maybe they mean that if you drink coffee with milk or sugar, because that would be a different story. Sugar does that to you. You feel like you have so much energy. And then when it's all processed by your body, suddenly you feel like you never had that energy at all. But if you drink black coffee, no, not for me, maybe you. Now, the acidity. It is a fact that there are people that experience discomfort or even pain in their stomach or a heartburn after a cup of coffee. It might be an effect caused by either the acids that coffee consists of or caffeine. In order to see if that is the case, I had to brew myself another coffee consisting of 100% of real coffee beans. This is nicer. I bought a set of litmus papers and dipped them in my coffees. The results didn't show any drastic difference between the brews. However, the mushroom coffee turned the litmus paper into more of a green color than the real coffee did. And that does indicate, according to the attached scales, that the acidity in mushroom coffee does stay on the lower levels. So yes, potentially it might be a good alternative for anyone who suffers from some kind of stomach discomfort. And lastly, the functional mushrooms added to mushroom coffee bring a lot of benefits to your your overall health and well-being. Are they really this healthy? As I mentioned, they are very often used in Chinese medicine. They've been used in Asian countries for centuries and no question about it, they are very common in there. They are still not as popular in the Western medicine. However, the advocates of holistic approach to your body will bring many, many points speaking positively about benefits coming from, for example, lion's mane or chaga or reishi mushroom. Examples, they fight cancers, they improve your immunity system, they make you feel relaxed so you will have no longer problem with stress if you consume those and so on and so on. And as much as I would love to say that there is no question about it and it's scientifically medically proven that functional mushroom will only help your body, will help your mind or will help you recover from some kind of illness, I can't. Quite often functional mushroom are presented as an alternative to some kind of drugs. So I think it's pretty big deal to go deeply into their science, to have very strong arguments saying that this might be right. And I'm not a researcher, but you know, you have access to many articles and many results of the test online. And I couldn't find a single article or a single result of the experiments with those mushrooms that wouldn't say that more tests are needed. Firstly, there are just simply not enough tests done to be able to say that they definitely bring so many unquestioned benefits to our health. Secondly, if there even is some test performed and it says that yes, the mushrooms are good. Sometimes the methodology of those tests is questioned or it's just focused on one type of mushroom and there is so many of them that we can't just really generalize and saying that they all are little miracles. Well, some of them are not very little. Anyway, there's one more thing. Even if the 
results of the test say that yes it is potentially beneficial or there is a potential for mushroom to be um, very useful in this particular case the dose of the mushrooms that was taken by the people who took part in the experiment is way bigger than the amount of mushroom that we have in our mushroom coffee and because we have very little amount of tests on this aspect of mushroom coffee done who knows how much mushroom is enough to actually bring those benefits no and i ask seriously like who knows that do you have this knowledge have you found information about it please let me know because i don't want to make a bad pr to four sigmatic coffee as i think they are trying to potentially do a good thing here they want to combine the pleasure of drinking coffee with potential benefits for your health for someone who experiences discomforts coming from drinking real coffee, this might be a solution. But paying $40 for something that I cannot find an actual information about whether this product will bring me those benefits that it, they claim it will, uh, I have problems believing that it's fair. However, most likely, mushroom coffee won't bring any harm to you unless you don't like the taste of it it's still a drinkable product of course remember after all it is food that potentially brings some risk because you know not enough tests so just be aware of that so i'm not taking any responsibilities for you if you experience some side effects always consult things like this with your doctor but i will try it and if you feel like this is something you can try too go for it if they claims is a good enough reason for you to drink it why not i know i will well i already bought it and i'm not gonna throw it away so i will keep you updated with how i feel if you want to please if you also buy this coffee let me know what are your experiences observe your body and let me know if it really is effective i will wait for your opinion in the comments down below this video if you like it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet click the bell button to receive all the notifications for future videos just so you don't miss any coffee and magic content peace and coffee